Okay, this is one in a series of videos that I'm making as sort of a video supplement to my PFSense blog, pfsensesetup.com. And the reason why I'm making this video is because I received an email this morning informing me that PFSense has been updated. Uh, and the current version is now 2.1.3. And I just want... I'm going to, in this video, I'm going to attempt to upgrade to the newest version. And here we can see at blog.pfsense.org the blog posting about the new release, which is po posted on uh, May 2nd, which is yesterday. Um, PFSense release 2.1.3 falls very shortly after PFSense re release 2.1.2, which was released about two weeks ago. Uh, and let's see, although these security issues warrant upgrading in your next maintenance window, they aren't applicable to our default configuration and won't impact the average user. But they do have a list of, of different fixes that they made. Most of them seem pretty minor, but it should be interesting to see how easy it is or how hard it is to upgrade our firewall. So. Let's uh, type in the the IP address of our PFSense firewall, and that'll take us to the uh, the login page. So we're gonna log in as admin with the admin password, and we're going to click login. And let's see, we'll get rid of this and. What do we see here? We see, we see the dashboard with some information about the system. See here we're running 2.1.2 uh, um, with an in, uh, a system with an Intel architecture. Um, and let's see our, our CPU is via C7 processor, uh, one gigahertz. Um, it's one of those uh, NeoWare thin clients that's running PFSense uh, and I haven't assigned the op opt one interface yet I'm, I'm probably going to use that for my 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 DMZ but we do have a WAN, we have WAN, WAN interface here which is actually just connected to another router not directly connected to the cable modem and the LAN interface you can see here so let's go to firmware and see if we can update it. So let's click on a system a firmware. And let's see what do we see here? Okay, we can there's two ways that we can update. We can we can update upgrade manually, which involves downloading the fir a firmware image file in tar gzipped format and then just uh um, specifying it and and, and upgrading it manually but I'm gonna try auto update so click on the auto update tab which is the second tab of the four and it says new version is available um, current version is 2.1.2 release and the new version is 2.1.3 release um, and let's just uh, copy and paste this uh, URL into the browser to see what what is there. Uh, we'll copy and it mentions the update source. Um, so let's just quickly take a look at this. Updates.pfsense.org forward slash underscore updaters. So looks like we have different uh, this is where we would we would get the tar gzip uh, firmware if we want to do it manually but we don't have to do that because we're going to do an auto upgrade so there's a checkbox here perform a full backup prior to upgrade so let's check that box because it's, it's always a good idea to do uh, a backup first so let's click on uh, invoke 
auto upgrade. You know, we'll see what happens. Let's see. We so it's downloading the update. And it's up to 22, 20-something percent. And now let's take a look here. So I think I'm going to pause the recording while it, it downloads. So I'm just going to pause this. Okay, I unpaused the recording with uh, about 75% of the of the of the download completed. So we're getting pretty close to completing the download. So here we go. So now we're we're finished downloading. So the download is complete, and the firewall will re reboot once the operation is complete. So I will probably lose my. Well, in fact, uh, you know, I know I'm going to lose my my internet connectivity briefly. So let's see. The firewall will reboot once the operation is completed. And let's see how long this takes. Okay, I think we're gonna pause this while it it finishes upgrading. So I'm going to pause and I'll come back as soon as something happens. Okay, I'm resuming the recording after about after pausing it for about three minutes. So. I'm going to return to the uh, system, uh, the dashboard, and see if uh, the. Okay, doesn't look like uh, this is working. Uh, let's see. Okay, advanced. Oh, I know. Wait, you gotta click on uh, PF Sense to go to the PF Sense logo to get back to the dashboard. And up, and okay, it says an update is currently in progress. The firewall will reboot when the operation is complete. So the the uh, the upgrade is still going on. So I'm gonna again pause the recording. So I'll pause this, and we'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, I've been the up the. Firmware upgrade has been running for about um, 17 or 18 minutes now, and it seems that I've lost internet connectivity. So I'm looking here. It says ping. Google. I tried to ping Google, and could not find Google. Oh, now it's back. So it looks like I. It looks like it rebooted. Hope I hope that it did. Just close this. Um, let's go back to the. To the uh, yep, yeah, it must make okay. Must have rebooted because it's making me log back in. Um, so hopefully the firmware upgrade took hold, and we'll find out pretty soon. And let's take a look. Okay, it says version. Um, 2.1.3 release, built on Thursday, May 1st, uh, FreeBSD 8.3 release, uh, you are on the latest version, so it looks like the, uh, upgrade has been successful, took a while, but it worked, and we should have internet connectivity again, yes, uh, looks like, looks like we do. So, that's, uh, that's our upgrade from, so there we go, We're, we've upgraded from 
2.1.2 uh, to 2.1.3. Okay, well that does it for the upgrade. Um, if anybody has any idea what should I, what I should do for my next video, uh, you can send me emails at, at uh, admin at pfsensesetup.com. Um, but uh, I, if not, I'll I'll probably think of something. So this is uh, so. That's the end of the video.